morning, South Africa. My name's Clem Pedro. It's Wednesday. Indeed. You heard the jingle, which means it's time for the Culinary Hotline Bling! <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Yes, man. Shout it from the rooftops, from the mountaintops, from bed. From, from the <laughs> bed. From the bed, exactly. <laughs> Today's theme is about everything breakfast in bed. We asked you last week what your ultimate breakfast is when you're being served breakfast in bed and also when you're making breakfast in bed. You've given us some amazing suggestions this morning, but it doesn't end there. We still want to hear from you. Keep on sending your voice notes through, letting us know about your ultimate breakfast in bed dish. Send, that no send your message <laughs> to the WhatsApp line at 63 408-8863. That number, by the way, is actually G's personal WhatsApp it number. Is. You should send the voice note through to him, address it to him. He's all about breakfast in bed. You yeah, are, right? Yeah, send videos, pictures, I am. I'm all about that. Buddy, you gotta marry yourself a gorgeous foodie if you want breakfast in bed every day, okay? And between the two of you, I'm sure you get breakfast in bed every day, literally. To each other, say that. Please lie and say that. And we're that's both we're both chefs, which is amazing. <laughs> so we're both chefs, so we're both like treating each other to breakfast in bed. And um, we have got I a serious it. tradition around it. Do you? We don't. Um, so now on special occasions, I'll help the kids make best breakfast in bed for uh, mom or vice versa, that kind of thing. But you know, breakfast TV land. Unfortunately, we are denied breakfast in bed. But that being said, I get breakfast cooked for me by some of the best chefs in the country every single morning. So it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. And we have a bed in studio today, so you can have breakfast in bed. Exactly. Yes. So we've actually got a comment from last week on social media. It's like immediately we asked a question. We were like, breakfast in bed, what, what do you want? It? Okay. People came through Let's see. with. <laughs> Let's see what they say. Oh, yeah. Who's that guy? Freddie Alfred. <laughs> Whoa, what are you eating? That looks amazing. Freddie saying, English breakfast. Thank you, Sylvia. English breakfast. Joseline van Buren saying, English breakfast, please. Are lots, lots and lots of yummy faces. I'm picking up a particular trend. Let's it see is. if there are any more. It is. I guarantee you it's going to be more of the same. Ruth Wallow and English breakfast. I love uh, it. I love it. I'm so down for that. We are going full English this morning. And that's, it's uh, going to be... And there is something special about saying that you know it's a special time of your life when you can sit down generally on a Sunday or maybe uh -huh. on a Saturday when you've got the extra chill time, you say, no, nah, full English, thanks. Full English, Crispy thank bacon, you. Crispy bacon, full English. Okay, let's talk Boom. about what is on the dish when it comes to full what English. What makes it English? We got bangers. <laughs> there we go. We got bacon. There we go. We got beans. There we, we go. We got black pudding. Yes, We got sir. the roasted tomato. We've got the toast and we've got the fried egg. You passed, you passed the test. The black pudding. The black pudding. Let's, let's get started. Okay, so... Okay, where do we begin? For the beans, right? We this started... is just too small. This, we're not going to be able to cook anything. That's that. not that's ridiculous. For, that's for your beans, by the way, so that's fine. Okay, we've got some shallots in the pot, a little bit of oil in there. We've got some beans going in. Um, also, I, I was meant to have Ryle in the kitchen with me, yeah, but uh, Mant's, Mant's taken to the theme really well. Yeah. And if we're actually trying to find him in the studio, I'm pretty sure we'll find him in bed. Uh-huh. Oh, there we go. <sighs> Look at him. Morning, Look love. at him. You catch another 15. Just press snooze. You, we got you man. chill we got there, you. my boy. Okay. We got you. Beans go in with the shallots, a little bit of red chili. This is totally just up to you, but it does add a nice little warmth to the I dish. I love chili in a breakfast. Like for me, the yolk goes so well with a chili flavor profile. Absolutely. There's something about that that works. So this even more so because the beans and the yolk have a special relationship as well, I think. That's true. In the mix, they the kind of come mix. together and make a sauce on yeah, their own. Right, see. so super simple. In a, get my pan smoking. So what you want to do actually is, I like starting my bacon off in a cold pan. Okay. I like rendering the fat out of the bacon. When the, when the pan's too hot, it actually seals the bacon. That's why we ah. seal steak. So what am I doing in the background? I'm just cooling my pan slightly. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> so bacon goes down. Just Give it some... drama, dude. Yeah. Give it some space there. And you can, by all means, Willie's have the most amazing smoked duck rashes. Oh, wow. That's delicious. Oh, there are other options, yeah. There are. And instead of going for normal pork bangers, they've got beef, they've got lamb, they've got duck, they've got veggie, they've got fish, they've got it all. So you can play around with the variations and make it your own. Okay, that's going to do its thing. Another tip that I have to help the water release, the, the fat release out of the bacon yeah. and to slowly steam the bangers as they fry. Tiny touch. Just wow. tiny touch. That's all you need. So let that do its thing. Turn the heat down. You don't need too much of our high heat. If your heat is too high, you know what happens? Your bangers gonna bang. They're gonna bang and go. 
And that's why they named bangers, by the way. They used to just in bang the, in open the pan, like in the that. Pan apart. So you want to keep an eye on that. This, guys, this is one of those hacks. And actually, you haven't given this to us before, this notion of adding a little bit of water just to mm -hmm. let more of that cook through. Absolutely. Let more of that fat render. I right. love it. OK, what's next? I need you to slice up a tomato. Um, I need you to cut it in half. Part of the English breakfast is a nice, chunky grilled tomato. Okay, I've got sure. the mushies. I've got the black pudding. Da -da 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 -da. So I'm going to add the black pudding to the pan. Mushy is okay. super simple. Yes, for English breakfast, you do end up using quite a lot, quite a few pans, because a lot going on there, but it's well worth it. Yeah. While G's busy with the tomatoes, all you're gonna do is black pudding. Don't be scared. It's okay. Yes, it is made from out of stuff. Stuff. <laughs> but it's so flavorful. It crisps up beautifully and it adds so much flavor. This is what makes it a proper. And English. I did, look, the first time I was in the UK proper meeting my, my English family mm -hmm. and kind of getting stuck, and you know that I had a, a particular milk stout drink with my breakfast, with my black pudding, everything, just to seal you the have deal. To. Yeah, you no, have it's to. only because everyone else was, and I felt it out, and I, but not, I was like, can I have an orange juice? And they were like, no. <laughs> whatever, not, bring, bring the man of pine. I get that from you. Okay, back to our beans. The beans are looking amazing. Now, the tomato sauce you're getting beans is quite sweet. I've gone very chunky, eh? Hey, that's how we like it. Tomatoes, not, like this thick, witness the thickness, and that's how you want it. I Too love thin, it. it's gonna just fall apart in the pan. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna give it a slice. I, I, I think we should just check on Raul real quick. Man's, man's out. Oh, he's dreaming. Man's out. He's okay. dreaming of the breakfast right now, or one of us, judging by the smile. Oh, he's definitely dreaming about you, man. Oh, uh, look can at him. See. Ah, okay. And Let's I think go. the tomato, you need almost that acidity or something just to cut through because there's a lot of fat. Yeah? There's a lot of fat. You, exactly. And I feel like the tomato is essential to this dish. Yeah, just So like balance. I said, we've got that sweetness of the beans, right? Lovely. Sherry vinegar. Okay. So it's a bit of acid just to cut through that. That's all you need and that's perfect. That's You're done. Enjoying your sherry vinegar this week, it eh? It is oh, my, it's of weeks, my flavor though. of the month. Sherry, sherry vinegar. Put it on everything. All right, beans. Oh, Where we at? Sauteed. All I do for the, I'm gonna pop the egg over here. All I need for the mushies into a pan. Mushrooms are like, whenever you cook mushrooms, consider them to be like steaks, okay? Okay. So once they hit the pan, don't do anything. Brown them first before you add your garlic, before you add your salt, before you add your pepper, before you add your herbs. Okay. That's the trick. We're doing See little cute all. little buttons. That's Very gonna go nice. in. Okay, let's talk about what we got going. Okay, there's, there's a production okay. line here. Beans, babe. bacon, Ooh. bangers, mushies, tomatoes, back pudding, fried egg. Let's plate this bad oh, wrap wow. real quick. Oh, wow, and look at that. Look at how the water's cooked out and how that bacon is just rendering. Gee, I've got a done version over there. We're going to send some of that to the bed a little later, but have a look. What do you this think? South Africa, we're not done. you got to let us know about your top breakfast in bed. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. There we go. I'm going to take this over to my boy, Raul. This looks spectacular, man. Do you want to take it? Please I'm, take it to I'm, I'm going to take a... He needs an take orange that. juice as well, because it's just so lovely. Uh, really? Wake him up gently, OK? All right. I need you to just run and jump on the bed. All right, come, gang. Done. Done. In three, two, one. We got brought your breakfast in bed, Raul. It's not your birthday every day, but today's your day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because you guys had such a wonderful night the, last night. So the African, the oh, thing wow. is, I think Raul genuinely did occasion. fall asleep in this bed. What is this feeling of love? Is this breakfast in bed? This what? is what it feels I've like, my friend. I've never this before. <laughs> and, and, and no one's going to take it from you. The is this for me? Yeah, the crew's All not going to come and take your food. You can eat it. <laughs> Normally the cameraman child long Am before it gets dreaming? to us. <laughs> Absolutely amazing stuff. If you want to recreate this beautiful English breakfast, in fact, do it better and show us online. Hit us up on the Expresso Show, um, any of our social pages. In fact, and if you missed any of the ingredients and some of those tips, of course, we'll have it on expressoshow.com. I think I'm going to cry. What do you think, eh? I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> it's the best moment ever. No, I feel like <laughs> I'm still dreaming. I feel like I want to cuddle you while you cry, man. If yours is better this is than good. this, we want to see it. Mm. Now I feel like I've missed out. It's my feel good breakfast show. Good morning, South Africa. Welcome back to the second installment of the Calorie Hotline Bling! We are having so much fun with our theme this morning, breakfast in bed. We're on to our second recipe, and I'm bringing the 
the, 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 the guy that actually did fall asleep earlier this morning <laughs> while laying in the bed, Raul de Mornay. Legitimately was, like, bossing out a little bit there. That That's a dangerous is, place to be. That bed is so comfy. Yeah, So man. comfy. Okay. So listen, bud, we've got some good stuff happening here, mm -hmm. things that I don't know about breakfast in bed, but a lot of people online have been commenting about what their favourite dish is or their favourite breakfast option is in bed. And we've got a comment from Shireen Abrams says, Firstly, good morning, Clem and the team. Happy Wednesday. I normally make breakfast in bed for my husband and daughter. They love scrambled eggs, bacon and some tomatoes and their favorite ever their favorite is ever with toast and a cup of coffee or juice loving the culinary hotline as always have an awesome day team lots of love well shireen i like that i love the comment and i think it's uh, definitely the inspiration that we've come for, for yes. this session right ever on toast very much on trend right now but for good reason it tastes delicious and it's like not only just uh, uh, confined to let's say uh, breakfast right it's a lunch option it's a supper option it's any time goes but in bed, oh, it's going to be so good. It's so good. Natasha Pearson from Facebook also commented, and she said, fried eggs, avo, on toast, whole wheat toast, Ooh, by the nice. way. A little bit of spring onion, chives, cream cheese spread. And again, that little sprinkle of chives is what takes it from just being like a, a good breakfast to a, a great breakfast. Cool, and it shows man. you care. Yes. Absolutely. I like that. She also says she likes this with a cup of cortado. So who's the barista oh, in your house? Nice. I really want to know who's yeah. doing that. Okay, so we're going to work on this amazing recipe. And don't forget at home, if you want this recipe, check it out on expressoshow.com. Also, we want to hear those voice notes. Send them through to 068-408-8863. Beautiful stuff, right. man. All right, let's get into this because I want to... Pretend that I can make someone breakfast. Well, right, you actually come <laughs> talking about barista. Sorry, cut you off. Talking about barista. You look like you're like you're ready. Oh, look at the bar. Yeah, I'm ready, man. Yeah. Hey, okay. I, I got one cortado coming out, please. <laughs> okay. So Raul, you're actually on avocado duty. Okay. Okay. So what I need you to do is to halve the avocado, mm -hmm. um, take the pup out, but professionally now. And then what I do is I always halve the avocado, twist it, take the pup, hit with a knife, and then I launch the pup. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I need you to fan out the apple for me. That's for the toast. <laughs> okay. In the meantime, I'm going to show you. What are you up to on that side? I want to see this launch. And we'll, so we'll where did you say? I cut it off and then it? I twist it. All right? You and got the, you it, got do I just okay. like... No, wait. You got, <laughs> first, you got to take the knife. Okay, Then you got to the tap it. Tap, no, with the, with the blade side. Blade okay, side. Blade tap side. The, t blade side. What do you mean? Like the shop? Yes. Yeah. Tap the stone. Okay. Twist. There we go. Oh. Now, what I need to do is not hurt. Don't hurt anyone, okay? Who's aim, it going to be? Aim for the ground. Aim for the ground. Oh, I see someone over here. And you go, choo, choo. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys, maybe don't do that in the kitchen because mom's not going to be too impressed with you after that. I'll pick that up later. Don't worry, I apologize. But let's get back to this. I'll carry on fanning my ammo. I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that was crazy. Okay, so you're going to fan your ammo. I got you. Oh, wait, wait. Shh. You have to be real quiet because Graham's in bed. So we just need to just ah, okay. take it down okay. a little bit. Right. Graham's catching a few Z's. Ah. So, okay, while, while you're doing your, your fanning, I'm going to show you a really cool way to fry your eggs. And we're bringing back an absolute icon that came out this year. It's the Woolies Chili Crunch. Uh -huh. It's got the oil in there already. It's got okay. the garlic, it's got the onion, it's got the chili. Fry it's your just eggs. It's literally ready to go in the pan. It is. So you're going to add a little bit of butter to your pan. Okay, normally we would add oil to this now so the butter doesn't burn, but instead uh -huh. of doing that, we're gonna go in with our chili crunch. Get that in there. Ooh, my spoon's got butter on it. There we go, doesn't matter. No one's complaining about that. You want it to melt, get a nice bit of... You see, you, once the butter starts melting, you need to spread it around so the egg has a little bit of that butter to kind of glide oh, on. I got you, yeah. Immediately it smells amazing. It smells so good. Now, if you are scared of cracking eggs, you know, about getting shell into your pan? Yeah. What you can do is first crack the egg into a smaller cup, then pour it into the ah. hot pan. Instead of you putting egg in there and you're gonna try and start fishing it out. And get all your egg shells out as well that have cracked in there too. It's, I like it's a nightmare. So get your eggs in there. Nice. I'm gonna go for two eggs. I, I, I wouldn't try this now, but someone actually told me you could literally take an egg like right on top of the pan and just drop it and it breaks perfectly. Have you ever tried that? We we'll try that on the next culinary conundrum, maybe. We might try that for the yeah. next segment, actually. Yeah. Now that you that. Yeah. Talk to me about your eggs. How do you like your eggs? Uh, I actually like them like sunny side up, man. Uh, I like that like good, healthy fat to kind of just mm -hmm. blend in with the rest of the meal when I cut it through. So definitely sunny side up for me. A great way to get that, that texture is with the set whites and the yolks all runny. At this point, all you got to do is pop a lid on it, turn the heat down, and you'll fry it as you steam uh, it. Because uh, so often, you... like, this top just stays too runny, and then the bottom, like, overcooks itself, and right. it almost starts to burn. 
There we go. Nice. I'm turning the heat down because that's quite hot. Add a bit okay. of salt to it. How's nice. your avo doing? Avo's okay. all fanned out, ready to go. go. What am I doing with it? Cream cheese on okay. your toast. When it comes Ooh, to... Yum. Actually, true story, my favorite bread to have for breakfast vibes, or actually most of the time, okay? Yeah. The Willie's Tanta Anna. It's got the flavor, it's got the crushed wheat, and I think our viewer actually said she prefers the crushed wheat bread. This is the one. What? This I is the delicious I'm one. I'm like not really educated. Tenta and a Tenta crushed Anna. Holy brown bread. Yes. Okay. So delicious. You can actually nice. smell the nuttiness coming out the bread. You can hit it with the cream cheese. Be generous with it. Okay. Generous coming up. All right. There we go. The eggs is eggs are almost there. Are these I'm like open sides, uh, open style yes. sandwiches as well. We're I not love closing a... them. Open sandwiches for me just make it like a little fancier. Yeah, I so... like that too. And you can kind of see the magic that's really inviting you in to just take a scrumptious bite. They're exactly, I like yeah. that. So you're gonna um, you're gonna cream cheese your other slice as well. Got that. To that, yeah. you're gonna add your avocado slices that you found out On so top. beautifully, All so right. professionally. I'm gonna come through with the eggs. These eggs are looking so good. It's so simple but so satisfying. You don't need to overcomplicate it. Sometimes all you need is just good toast. A good fried egg, and you're winning. And a lot of love, of course. A we'll lot be, of we're love. We're serving this up to the people we love in bed. I mean, how else can they enjoy this then with a little bit of extra love on the side, too? I feel like the best way to start someone's day off is by serving them breakfast in bed. Yeah? Like, um, I've never... I, I'm, I'm trying to think of, like, what's... What's better than that? I don't even know. I don't know. Maybe, Mzanzi, you can come through. I can't think of anything better than that, especially to express how you feel or how much you care about someone. Ooh, and it smells good! Eggs on, Ew. eggs on, a little bit of that chive. What I've also done for you is I've showed you another variation of this recipe, and it's by poaching your eggs. Okay. And serving it on an English muffin instead. Nice. And then all I've got to do to finish it up for you is to take it to our... our G yeah, that's catching Take it to someone nap. that probably hasn't slept this year yet. Here we go. Um, a little bit I'm of that. pretty sure. Here we go. Ooh. Have you got a knife oh. and fork? Take yeah, it to the... Fork is take here. it to him! Take it to the honors. I am honored to be able to be the one that is presenting this man with probably the first experience he's no, ever had antenna. in the love his antenna. life. What? Hey, G-Man. No, totally flex. G-Man. G-Man, I got oh. something for you, brother. Oh, look yeah. at this. Believe it or not, this is not a dream. This is really happening. Breakfast Are in you bed, real? Man. Can I see the love <laughs> antenna? Is it real? <laughs> it's real. You it's can touch real. It. This is real life. <laughs> this looks beautiful, man. Enjoy, I absolutely brother. absolutely love it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sleep for like two more minutes, and then, then I'll okay. get into this. If enjoy. anyone touches, you're going now. <laughs> Sanzi, of course, let us know what your favorite dish is for Billy breakfast. Flex. The culinary hotline will be black, so don't go anywhere. Love antenna. Enjoy. Yeah. Sleep away. <laughs> it's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to the last installment of the Culinary Hotline Bling. Train, train, train! We're really having a blast in the studio today. Ah. Oh. Yeah, and I feel like it's also the fact that the bed is freely available this morning. That sounds weird. I, no, <laughs> <laughs> it is. But I mean, I can't see Ryle, I can't see Graham, I have no idea where they are, and I've got a sneaky suspicion. They're taking a nap. They're taking a nap. A teeny yeah. tiny nap. I mean, they look so cute. Okay. You've got a breakfast suggestion. This is your oh, favorite breakfast. My favorite breakfast has to be chicken livers. Now, this is obviously a real treat because I don't get breakfast in bed Monday to Friday because of the early mornings that we have. But when you do get that option, a chicken livers with crispy dipping bread because it's all about the sauce. Oh, yummy. This is the breakfast of champions. Yes. I love chicken livers, especially for breakfast like you do too. Let's get started. So. I like the fact that you're frying your chicken livers off separately to the sauce that you make. Because that's the way you should always do it. You get like nice color in your livers and the only way to do that is to fry it off separately. So, let's start off with the chicken livers. Okay. Got a little, little bit, bit of, of oil. oil. Okay, and butter. Chicken livers need butter. It's yeah, like... I always thought it was a bit taboo to add butter and olive oil. The thing about adding the oil and the butter is that the oil just stops the butter from burning too much because with chicken livers, another thing you want is a high heat. You want to go like smoking hot, high heat. And you can see our pan smoking. Mm. You want that to happen. So once that butter gets melted into the oil, I also like, I say, you first get the butter screaming and then it simmers down and it's like, ah, that's when you know you're ready. So when the butter just starts to brown, it's called a uh, bournazette. A bournazette? Yeah, all the French out there coming for me. It's basically a brown butter. Then you can see it now, brown butter. In we go with our livers. Give it a shimmy. 
And okay. this is not something you need to overcook. No, not at all. So get that heat going, give it a little shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Give it a little toss, get a little Look flame going. Them flames in there, there we go. It's breakfast. You gotta start the day off on a flaming note, okay? Once that just gets colour, it's done. We do have a voice note though from Colleen. Do you wanna yes. hear it? Let's listen to it. Morning, Colleen. Morning, Express Her Family. Hope you all well. Thank you for a lovely program. Uh, please can uh, Chef Clem just explain to me uh, the technique of doing poached eggs. Uh, I don't seem to get it right. Uh, I do put vinegar in the in the water when I boil it, but um, it still isn't does, isn't right. Okay. If you can just explain the technique, I would really appreciate it. Thanks very much. This is Colleen from Durban. Bye. Thank you, Colleen. You know what? A poached egg goes well with chicken livers. Mm -hmm. I've never been able to make a poached egg. I always order them from the restaurant. But how can we help Colleen out? What's the best way to go about making poached eggs? So the most important thing when you're making poached eggs is that your eggs have to be fresh. The protein, which is the white of the egg, starts to deteriorate, becoming, becomes runny the longer you keep it on shelf or in the fridge. The fresher the egg, the tighter the proteins, and that's what the, that's the shape you want. You want it to hold together. So you, it's always gonna kind of fail if you have eggs that are a little older okay. than normal. So work with the freshest eggs you have. Then the water is also very important. You don't want it to be rumbling and boiling. You want a few bubbles to make it to the surface, okay? Then a little bit of vinegar or a little bit of lemon juice, like you're doing, to the water. Crack your egg into a teacup first. And then gently drop that egg into the water. You don't want it to splash. And again, you also don't want the water to be rumbling because that rumbling is going to well, disturb go, the, the egg. egg. Go everywhere. Yeah. Fresh eggs, just simmering water. I like the fact you're using the vinegar. And that you should be good with that. Don't, don't try and poach four eggs at one time. Work with one first. Okay. Get the technique right, and that's when you can step up to doing like three or four eggs at a time. And once it's in the water, you leave it. You don't fiddle you with it? You leave it, it or... yeah. You don't fiddle with it. You let it do its thing. You'll see that um, it'll just gradually start cooking, and the, it will go from clear to opaque. That's what you want. If your water's too high, you'll also find that the outside might be cooked, and the inside's not. Still, still. And I mean, that's not a soft egg. That's an uncooked egg. That's an uncooked egg. Okay. Chicken liver is going into that delicious sauce, and I've just missed, but I'm going to show you how we made the sauce. Yes. Onions go into a pan, and you want to take your time with this. This part, you want to simmer your onions for about 20 minutes, bring out 20 minutes. Really? Bring out the natural sugars in the onions, okay? And you want to do that on a low heat? Low. So don't do, don't do as I do, do as I say. Okay. So on a low heat, you're going to go for about 20 minutes. We are pressed for time here. Okay, got it. A little bit of butter going in. No, little no, bit I'm of just salt. saying in oh. general, we are pressed for time. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm just saying we don't have 20 minutes to simmer onions. I was going to do it in like 30 seconds now. But yes, a little bit of um, salt goes on that helps, that helps draw out the moisture and the onions and soften them. To that, we're going to add, and I love this. Chili. Chili in the morning. Yes, Gives absolutely. Gives you that kick you need. Plus, we're going with Indian-style tomatoes, and this which is, already has a bite in it. And the, again, this is your recipe, and I'm really impressed with the hacks that you have. Using the Indian-style tomatoes instead of the normal tin tomatoes is a great way to bulk up flavor, and it's already been seasoned. It's already got elements in there that's going to give you a delicious flavor dimension. Great one there, Zoe. Thank you. And you know what? We do add a little bit of cream just to bring it back down to earth because we also don't want it to be too spicy so early in the morning. Although I love a good spice with my chicken livers. Yes, absolutely. This sauce as it is right here would be amazing with so many things. Mm. You could even modify this to be a curry. You could actually like... Add puravos roll in there like a smurky. Yes, yes. Okay. So the cream, like you well, said... Add that to the puravos roll, not the other way around. Other way around. I know, I get <laughs> you. I get that. you. <laughs> A little bit of the cream going in, that's gonna come together, that's gonna reduce beautifully. And again, this recipe by Zoe Brown, you could actually make this sauce ahead of time, make it in a big batch, freeze this because it's only gonna get better and better and better the longer it sits. You add your chicken livers, you serve that with some garlic and bread. Let me get my... Yes! Should, uh, should, uh, should I cut it? I'm gonna cut the bread. Sure, you do that. Can I get your plate in the center, please? Uh, of the table. There we go. The pan's hot. There we go. Really hot. If you have like, one of those beautiful little... I would serve it in a bowl. I was going to say, little bowl or little individual cast iron pans, that's also quite cute. 
Serve it in a bowl. You serve want it in a bowl. dipping element. This I is a massive portion. It. You are very generous. This is, well, I thought that Ryle and Graham were going to be sharing a plate in the bed. Oh, look at this, look at this. Show me the garnish. Show me the garnish. Just a little. <sighs> you want to deliver it to the, to the guys? Yeah, should I go deliver it to deliver them? Deliver it to them, yeah. It, but this was my breakfast. <laughs> You have do, it. Do, do Sorry. I have to share it? No, you don't have to. Sorry, Ryle. <laughs> Sorry, Graham. The, well, they, they're sleeping anyway, so what they, they don't know they won't lose. hurt them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at them. So this is my breakfast. May I taste my own breakfast? Please do. I just heard the social media team say, what? We need a photo. We'll I'll get taste, you a photo. I'll taste just the, 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 the chicken livers, because Chef Clem made it fresh. Okay. Don't forget to get this recipe. Beautiful in color. Zoe Brown's chicken livers with delicious smoochie on espressoshow.com. Mm. Make the recipe, tag Zoe, tag Espresso, tag me, tag Ral, tag Graham, tag, tag your granny. Thank Just you, Clem. make the recipe. Thank How you. How good is it? It's really good. I love it. Makes me happy. <laughs> Next week, we'll be back with more Coloring Hotline. We want to know if there's anything you want to see us do on the show your favorite dishes, let us know on our social pages, please. It's been an amazing coloring hotline bling. Let's do it nice and loud so we can wake the guys up. It's a coloring hotline bling! Ding, ding, ding! Ding! ding. 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 ding.